Yo, what is going on guys? Huge shout out to Hut Park Traders for a fast and reliable service. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys some really cheap players who are really good. Some of them are really fast, some of them aren't even that fast, but they're really good in other categories. But first, we're going to start off with Mason Raymond. This guy is really good. He's been good in most games. But this year, he finally gets a pretty good boost of an 85 overall. He's quite pricey, but if you could find the right one, you could probably get him pretty cheap. I got mine for about 1,000 pucks, which is like one point. I think 1.1 which is really good if you could find him for under 3 or 4k i think he's even worth it you could try to get a steal and go for one worth that's around one to two thousand but you're probably not gonna be able to get him i mean he is an 85 he's no longer like a hidden gem because 85 is like a pretty good player especially since all the stats are pretty good but this guy is really really good really really fast so now that mason raymond is out of the way i mean we're going to move on to the next people anyway. But anyway, I would say he's probably one of the best people here, I I would say, especially in speed. Another player that I want to show you guys is Bodker on the Coyote. Oh, Arizona Coyotes. I forgot about that, but he's on the Arizona Coyotes. I believe he might be a right winger, but I think he's a left winger. He is on. He's a left winger as well. He's an 86, so he's one over Helm. He's got one speed over Helm. He's probably a bit better than Helm. I think Helm's hands are, well, not Helm. Oh my god, Raymond, I think Raymond's hands are a bit better, they feel a bit better, but Bodker, I think, is probably one of the fastest players I've ever used in a game. He's really, really fast. He's going to probably cost you around 4 to 5k as well. I got mine in a pack, so luckily for me, I didn't have to spend anything, but if you can get him for 2 or 3k, that's a very good price. He's not too expensive. I mean, you win 2 or 3 games, you can get this guy if you don't spend money on packs or anything like that, or don't have any pack, money, any pucks, I should say, or coins, there you go. Sheesh. Couldn't get that out. So now that he's done, we're going to say the guy that we mentioned at first, which is Helm, who is on the Detroit Red Wings. So let me just go to them. I'm not sure how much his price is going to be. I'm guessing 2K, maybe 3K. Not Datsuk, but Darren Helm, who is about, looks like, maybe 2K. 3 Ah, no, 3K. He's an 85 as well. So you're probably going to spend about 1.5 to 3K for this guy. He is really, really fast as well. 89 skating definitely worth it i mean the three guys i just mentioned are really really fast they've got pretty good hands and i mean for under 5k for each of them it's definitely worth you picking up the next player i'm going to show you guys is on the new jersey devils this one might be a bit biased but i think he's really good this guy may not be the fastest but in terms of how good his hands are in his shot i think he's definitely worth it we have adam henrique who goes for about 1,000 pucks and you could probably get him for seven or eight hundred if you get lucky, but it is an 85 overall. And the next player is on the Devils as well. This guy was pretty good last year, but the year before that he was a lot better. He is right. I don't know. Okay, maybe there's not any on the market. Oh, it's because he is not a Canadian. Sorry about that. But the next player is. Martin Havlet, which you could probably get for around 700 to 1,500 pucks. Very, very good. Very, very fast. And another player we have is on the... Well, not not on the... Uh, I was going to say Senators, but he's not on the Senators anymore. He's now on the Stars. He's not the highest overall. Doesn't look the best, but Alex Hemsky... Alice Hemsky, not Alex. Alice Hemsky probably can get for 700 or 1,000 pucks. Very, very good player. Very, very fast. And... I would say a few other mentionable names are Herbata and Zabinajad. Both of them are very, very good for pretty cheap. But the last player is, for me, it's a must to have on your team. He's not really fast. He doesn't have very good hands, but he's just overall, I mean, especially if you boost him, he is really, really good. And we, you will see in a second. Oh, is he on, he's on Tampa, I believe. Is he on Tampa? I think, yeah, they have him. I have already switched to Tampa, so whoops, he's not on the Rangers, he's on the Tampa Bay Lightning. He got a very big boost, people used him last year, but this year people are probably going to even, even use him more. If I could just find him, Brian Boyle got a 5 overall boost, he's probably around 2,000 pucks. He doesn't look too good by those stats, but he does not lose the puck. He has a pretty good shot, and he's not even that slow, and overall, like, he's just a really good player. I definitely definitely recommend picking him up, but those are the players for forwards I had. If you guys want to leave any suggestions in the comments, I obviously haven't been able to use a lot of players. Palat's also a very good player as well. 
for probably 3k but those are just some pretty cheap players who are all under 5 or 6k who could definitely help your team and then next i'll be covering defensemen and then goalies possibly but i'm not really sure if i want to do goalies but if you guys enjoy this video please leave a like and i'll see you guys later